All right, hi everyone. This is the PP Dad, and as you guys know, I have not been in this um, channel posting about um, crypto stuff for a while. I've been quite busy with my other businesses. And at the same time, obviously, like most people, we all know how much the price plunged on the PRV2. So I've just been, you know, hoping for best. And uh, okay, anyway, but today is crunch time because today uh, is the last day that we need to do emergency withdrawal, and I've just done that. And the um, transaction has already gone through, and I can see that on my MetaMask. And by the way, this is a new computer, um, and this has already gone through. So I want to walk you through the process of how to, you know, basically, you know, get everything back on track if you haven't been looking into this just like I have, I haven't been as well. So in this case, I cannot see the asset over here. And what I need to do in this case is like, you know, just click on this tab here. Uh, view on BSC scan. That's going to take you to this page here and you can see the contract so copy address and then when you come back to your MetaMask go down to the bottom of the asset list and click on import token and just paste that in. So it will populate right here and over here it's going to show the rest of the stuff and just add custom token and you will then be able to basically import tokens and you will now be able to see this in your asset list right here okay so uh, that's just one component of it and I've done that for lock pools for PRVG now the next thing I would have to do is to go over to my um, I'll, I'll just have to go through everything I, want, I need to check whether I have anything in uh, in you know any of the pools so I need to do that like in all of these so I have to do the same thing here as well I have to do my emergency withdrawal for PRV2. So please go through every single tab and, and see what you need to, what, what's still there. Just emergency withdraw that so that they can do the whole migration properly. Also check that the, the gas fee is not like anything through the roof, like 0 0.4 BNB. Okay, so anything that's in the number of zeros, that should be fine. Hit confirm. And that will be done in a couple of seconds and you'll also be able to see this uh, you know, it's it's gonna go, it's gonna update. So, um, right there, I'll be able to now uh, see that this has uh, already affected. And uh, again, if the assets are not showing up, I would have to import the tokens. And the way to do that again is I could click on View on BSC Scan. This is gonna give me the token address, the copy address. Come back here, go to MetaMask. And at the bottom of the assets list, I scroll down, import tokens, paste this in, and then just add custom token. And it, it will tell me, you know, what's the balance, just import tokens, and bang, it's there. Okay, so um, now I see this in my asset list. The next thing that I have to do is I will have to go to check anything else. Like, uh, do I have anything in, say, um, you know, the, the, the vaults? which um, I, I don't think I do, but I'm just going to check uh, you have anything here. I don't think I don't think I do. So I'm just going to uh, just check it out. So I don't have anything um, here at this point of time, which is OK. Now I will go over to the farms because I do believe I might have something there. So uh, I go over to the farms and um, just look out over here and see if I have anything deposited and I realize that yes I do so uh, I'm gonna guide you through like um, the process of um, unpairing your um, LP tokens because LP tokens again just check your values is correct LP tokens they cannot be converted to the Pydex ones so you would have to separate the uh, the PRVG and the BNB and you have to separate the PRVG and the PUSD as well. So um, I've done that and I've done this one. Uh, likewise, if you want to be able to see your LP tokens in your wallet, uh, the way to do it is the same. So go on to BSC scan. Um, you will copy the address and you will come back into your, you will come back into your MetaMask and same thing, go to the bottom of assets and import tokens and you actually just key in this contract address and it says kick lp 
and you can give it a, uh, a custom name if you like. So just so that you don't get confused, you know, this is the PRVG uh, BNB uh, LP, okay? So this way would uh, make it easier for you to just keep track and import tokens. So that way I can see um, how much I have, okay? Now we're gonna go back into this other page. We do the same thing because I already unstaked this earlier. I go on to BSC scan and then likewise I will copy the contract here and I'll come back to this part. I open up my MetaMask and go all the way to the bottom on the assets list, go to import and I paste it and then again um, like I said I recommend that you just edit this so this would be a PRV2 uh, so PRV2 no PRVG um, BUSD LP okay so just add that and then import tokens okay <clears throat> so now we have this in the asset list um, and I'm gonna guide you next on how to separate this into your respective assets next we do this in liquidity so it's taking some time to load and uh, what you can also do is to refresh the page and refresh a page. Okay, so these are all my respective liquidities and I realized that I also have this one here as well. So what I need to do at this point of time is I need to separate out all these liquidities. So I can start with this and I basically what I need to do here is when I click on the remove, okay, I click on for every single one, hit max and approve. So after it's approved, click on remove. So it'll say confirm the transaction in your wallet and then basically click confirm. So do the same thing for every other one as well. And basically uh, that's what you need to do over here. So I've done that for one of it. Um, we're gonna go back to the main page and basically if I refresh, um, it's going to show that I go from three liquidity pairs down to two and I next have to go to the other two and then do the same thing as well. So uh, I hope this video serves as a good walkthrough for you to um, you know, basically get, get in preparation for the migration to the Pydex platform and I certainly hope that um, like you know, right now as the market is poisoning for possibly another bull run that we will do well in Pydex, much better than we did in PRV2. So likewise, same thing, go on this one, click remove, steps are the same, max, approve, and then go on to remove. All right, thanks for watching.